Let it all go, let it all go No submission, this is two five all Greatness or death, this is how we roll Before I'm late to rest, I'll conquer the globe Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here 250 Gemstones Exchange is where I give you guys great content And in exchange, you guys give a like, comment, or subscribe Oh, let me fix that real quick Hopefully all three of the above Don't be afraid to share my videos Pass me around, pass me around Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms And y'all know how I feel about my chising. If you guys like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my website, 250gemstones.com.co. Also, check out my Spotify podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. O-M-G. So, I got a video, y'all, about... It's a, it's a skit. It look like it's a skit. But it, it, it's very talented. This is probably one of the best skits that I've seen in a long time as far as relationships. But if it's not a skit, this even intensifies my 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 reaction to it. So y'all watch this video. I'm going to be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go. I know someone's going to make you smile. And I know I don't put you through a lot, a lot of stuff. I don't put you through a lot of stuff. And I just want to show my appreciation. This given proposal? I mean, it's something that you've been wanting for a little minute. So, babe. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. I know. You know what I'm saying? Shit been rocky with us for a while now. You know? And, um, I got something for you. You know what I mean? Um, I know it's something that's going to make you smile. And I know I don't put you through a lot of stuff. Put it through a whole lot. Right. I don't put you through a lot of stuff. And I just want to show my appreciation. Just give him proposal. I mean, where the ring at? It's something that you've been wanting for a little minute. You know what I mean? Right. And um, I just want to show my appreciation for you. And I just want to let you know I love you. I know we've been through a lot. You done did stuff. I done did stuff. But that's why you pay for my nails to get done. Okay. Yeah, and I got you that new Chanel. That's right there too. That's on you. So. Oh you yeah, know. thanks. So. Um, for the ring. Open this up. Open it up slow though. It's something that you've been wanting though. You know what I mean? It's something that you've been wanting and um I'm finna be up. Uh, hold on. Let me not get to like countdown. Five, four, three, three, two. Now she said she was about to be a W word. She didn't want to say a W word wife. Little 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 what happened. One. I'm scared. Open your eyes. Look, look. Dang. I thought it was a ring. Ooh. What you mean? I thought it was a ring. You heard what you said. But you've been telling me that you've been wanting to watch. I know, but I thought you were about to propose to me. I don't know how to take it off. After all that we've been through, and, like, I, I appreciate the watch, yes, but I just thought you were going to propose to me. Yes. I cheated a thousand and one times. Cheated. I'm still here. We have kids. we still not married. Okay. This the part I was trying to emphasize on. Why isn't this nigga marrying her if they already have kids? At the minimum, you she said kids. Meaning you're going to be investing a lot of time with this girl? Cause you, well, if you want to be a, a good father. You're going to invest in a lot of money because you got to make sure your kids are straight. So my question is, where is he going? Why Why wouldn't you marry a woman? That you continuously keep putting your man juice in. You keep putting your man juice in her stomach. So she can't figure out. We got a family. We've been together for hella years. Where is my diamond? I understand that. But like, like, it's like. That should take time. I don't know. It takes time. But how much time do you need? We've been together for years now. I understand that. But this is something that you've been wanting though, babe. Let me put, let me put it on you. She is not happy. I got it. Well, let me help you. I got it. Why you look like you got like an attitude now? Nah, I don't got an attitude. It's just like, dang. Like, well, I don't this one first. When, when is you going to actually do the proposing? Like, I feel like I've been waiting around for years. Years. I mean, look, man. Dang. Greatness take time. You know what I mean? What you, want? you don't like it? Greatness don't take spent, time. I just spent 15000 on that for you. Now, I doubt that this nigga spent 15000 Look like a skit. But this skit is very telling. This happens every day. Now, I'm going to have to put this on a man. You keep pumping your juice in this girl. And she said she want to be a wife. She ready to be. It's something about something about being official. Like, you official in the street. 
you official in the corp in the corporate world. Let's speak this up. Look how he look how he talked to her. Look. Hey, for my nails get done. I thought you was, I thought you was doing something nice, bro. Like. So you really about to sit up here and cry though? Just came back up, please. I'm just saying, though, like, I'm making this video trying to send this to your mama, like, and your sisters and shit. You Why know you what I'm saying? You, and I bought you the Louis watch holder to put it in. This shit calls for us to spend in a fucking 30 racks today. You send, don't send this to my mom, please, and thank you. You spent 30 racks when you could just bought her. See, this, this is where I know this has to be a skit. No, I guess this does happen. He's spoiling her with everything that's not meaningful. I think that's the point of this skit, but this this goes on every day. She didn't. Yes, yeah, she asked for the watch. Yes, yeah, she asked for all the little stuff the nails did here, did, but that's a given. She is looking at her future. The future. There is no future with this nigga, and shame on her for continue to maybe got some good eggplant. Maybe uh, his mouth game is not because. Believe it or not, a lot of niggas eat. A lot of niggas won't admit. A lot of niggas eat. So I don't know what's her deep attraction. He didn't cheat it on her. He's a uh, borderline disrespectful to her. He didn't knock her up. He keep pumping his juice in her, and she's trying to figure out where the hell is this going. That's life. We're adults. Uh, if you 19 and up, you ain't got no freaking plan for your damn life. Where you going? It's like uh, it, it's a uh, what's the term? You a bum. Like, she's she feeling like a bum right now. That's what bums have no direction. Bums have no ambitions, no goals. You just kind of just drifting, just uh, in limbo. She's in limbo right now. Like, I can't believe I gave my only, the years of my only precious life. You only get one of these things, right? So, she's like, I get one of these things, and I spent it with this nigga. I don't know that you cheated on me a thousand and one times. You didn't have a baby on me. All right, well, you, gonna, you still here, right? Okay. And you ain't going nowhere, right? You still staying with me? Yes. We're well, gonna get married when it's time. Right now, it ain't the time. I'm still outside for real. When is it gonna be time? Ooh. When I'm ready. He said, now nah, he's trying to get aggressive. This couldn't be my daughter. This couldn't be my Well, first off, my daughter wouldn't even deal with a nigga like this. Sound like he a, a quote unquote D boy, but none, none gets a D boys, but my daughter. Not all D boys. Not, I can't even say that because there's a lot of uh, cool hood niggas. There's, this type of nigga, the way he move, if if he ain't trying to wife up my daughter, if, if she really likes the guy and he ain't, he just playing, because like when you play with my daughter, it's like you playing with me. You play with my sons, like you playing with me. Like my family and how I raised them was a joke. Ain't no jokes over here, nigga. And he trying to get aggressive with her. Like sound like he been like grooming her or brainwashing. You, you, you ain't going nowhere, right? When it's time. When it's, what you mean when it's time? You already had the damn kids. That's why. I'll wait for you. Oh, I'm up in the house, and um, I'll be back later. What you gotta go do? I gotta handle some business, but I'll be back later, so. Mm. Some business. Every time you handle business. Hey, look, though, I gotta, I gotta get out, though. I gotta leave, though. So, I'm gonna see Every you time you handle business, it always turns into hey, something you still, you still dripping Chanel, right? Can you start bringing up what you do for me? I'm just saying, though, you still dripping Chanel, right? Ooh, I get out. She Come on, man, you know how to get out. She mad. So y'all like to know my opinion. Would y'all like to know my opinion? Of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Wow. Uh this couldn't have been my baby girl. First off, my baby girl wouldn't be coming outside. I don't have any kids. But if my baby girl first off, she ain't she ain't getting no belly rings. All that sexual I know it gets hot in the select they from the side. I know it gets hot. But my baby girl ain't having the, the, the belly ring, the tongue ring. Got her shorts hiked up. No, 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 no. First off, first off, she wouldn't have been dealing with nobody, you know, like this. The man said they got kids together. Why you keep pumping your juice in this girl? And and and, and you're you so you're not hesitant about bringing life, but you're hesitant about putting a ring on this girl finger, cheating on the girl, puts the girl down, talk to her crazy. No, nah, not my baby girl, not my little girl. I don't know where this girl's parents is. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it's a skit or not, but I don't know where her parents is because she really needs to have a talk with her father if he's around or her uncle because this absolutely makes no sense. This absolutely doesn't make any sense. 
the guy cheating on my like I said, uh, who who is she who is she talking to to get counseling? Is she talking to her mom? Here's the thing, maybe people were talking to her. maybe she had good friends around her. Maybe her father did tell her, leave this nigga alone. But a lot of times human beings when we're dating, when we're involved with someone, we want them to change. We want them to be the person that we want them to be. No, don't try to change anybody. Don't try to force your view your image of them onto them don't try to uh, force your vision you have a vision of them marrying you you have a vision of them treating you better you have a vision of them uh, being cooperative if they are if they are not already those things just go find somebody that are those things because you're going to be wasting time like she is that is the one thing that that's just oh it's just wasting my time like i'm trying to build with you i'm trying to get to a better place i am trying to get us in a position so we can actually enjoy life man and woman seem like she really loved this dude but he's playing that's one thing i learned like you gotta keep it g you gotta be real don't play in certain things you no know, you know life we try to enjoy life we can joke around but far as taking care of business your day-to-day -day operating function this cannot happen this girl really wants to be with him. And he, he's, a, in my opinion, he's a type of nigga that she, he don't want to marry her. But then there's a guy like me. I see her like, now she was fine. But let's say I meet her at a coffee shop. Let's say she don't hang out the clubs no more. Let's say she's in her late 30s. I'm sorry, late 20s, early 30s. And she, she, has, she has two kids. But let's say, you know, she respects me. Let's just say she respects my authority. Let's just say for some crazy reason we do work out, we're bonding. They say I meet her at a coffee shop. She don't go to the clubs no more. She's tired of hanging out with this dude. She's still with him for the kids, but they say I bump into her. And like, damn, you you really cool. You got your head on straight. That attraction, that spark, that is some powerful thing when a man and woman have that connection and it's just chest to chest. You guys start looking at each other like, is he gonna and she's looking at is he gonna ask me out? Is he gonna ask me out? Like, damn, should I ask her out? And he, he this impulse. We start exchanging numbers, but still respectful. We we taking our time because I want some out of life. She wants some out of life. And here's the thing: even though she's with this nigga and she got kids, we have common interests. Because see, she's not the same person she was when she got with this nigga. She's in this in this video. It looks like she is outgrowing this nigga, right? She's outgrown him in his bullshit. He he thinks about just buying her gifts and buying her that. Uh, buying her gifts and keeping her smelling good, all the latest and all the latest. She said that doesn't mean anything. It's all about meaning and what is meaningful to that individual. So even though I didn't never bought her spend on fifteen thousand dollars on a watch, I'm giving her time, I'm giving her honesty, I'm giving her intellect, and I'm gave her the the number one thing she wants. I'm giving this black queen this. I'm giving this 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 this. African sister, this black sister, this melanated goddess, I'm giving her the number one thing she wants, a plan for life. My plan for life, like, look, I know you got kids, but I'm really feeling you, blah, blah, blah. I'll tell you what, we need to have a discussion. Where do you see yourself with your, with your baby daddy in the next year? Because I'm trying to move, I'm trying to buy a building, I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to do that. Life is going by fast, so I'm just trying to see, because I'm really feeling you, blah, blah, blah. You pour your heart out. Hey, we got to be real. I like you. I I really like you. Now she's in a position to where I just got this new guy. He's giving me what I want. He playing. He, damn the damn Louis Vuitton watching all that crap. Where's the ring? Where's the, you know what I mean? Where is uh, the plan? So while he's spending 50K on her, she's miserable with him. Money's not everything. The jewels and all that crap, that doesn't mean anything. Meaning is whatever is meaningful to your your significant other is what's whatever is meaningful to yourself. I gave that girl a plan for life. I I can see myself being with you. Blah blah blah. I laid it on the table. I really like you. Damn. And and I'm and I'm tall. Need I add? I am handsome. I am. I'm, I'm not not shabby. I'm not a shabby looking dude. Come here, little mama. We need to talk. So. The, the man in this video, he's not listening to her. She doesn't want those things. She, I think she appreciates those things, but she wants to get married. And then this nigga, like I said, you, she already put 
all his man juice in her stomach. Already got kids with kids with the girl. So this makes absolutely no sense. You, you pumping this girl with your juice every time you get, and then you cheating her. So not only did uh, she allow him, well, these are both people. You allowed this man to um, bust in you to have kids, and while you guys were together, he cheated on you and had more kids outside of what y'all got going on, broken homes. And I'm pretty sure she did not sign up for this. I'm pretty sure she did not plan for this. And But at the same time, you did spread your legs. So it goes both ways. Y'all flood my comments. What y'all think about this girl wanting to get married to her baby father? But he's saying it's not the time. Having a kid is okay. But marriage, he needs more time to think about this marriage. 250. I'm gone.